With rotational grazing, if you're using electric netting or electric fencing, uh, poly strand, uh, whatever you might be using for your uh, goats, the easiest thing really has been, and the most effective for us, has been this electric netting. Uh, the electric netting we use is from Power Fields. The um, fencer that we're using here is from Power Fields. And what I want to go over today is what makes it all so effective and how do I make sure that this fence is going to keep goats in no matter what. This is how you do it and this is how you make sure that this fencing works really well for you. biggest thing when you're using uh, electric fencers on a battery is going to be the ground. I can't tell you how important that is. And that changes with how much moisture your ground has. This is actually copper wire that I found out in the junk pile and copper is such a good conductor that I thought I would use it for my ground rod and I've got it out like here. So what I've done, uh, this is the ground that goes to uh, the clamp that goes to the fencer, but this is what I have in the ground. My copper wire, I've pushed it in the ground, and then this metal rod with no insulation on it, of course, but the metal rod, and all I've done, because we're in spring, the ground is saturated and wet, I've just been able to push these right in the ground and that is more than adequate uh, to get a really good ground and and that's that's working well for me right now so ground rod that's oh two foot and then I have about two foot of this copper bare copper wire in the ground so I'm looking at about four feet of material in the ground to conduct and 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 um, have a, a really good grounded system for uh, my fencer. We're here in South Dakota and eventually what's going to happen is our ground is going to start to dry up and I'm not going to have the great moisture that I have. So I'm going to see that I'm going to need more uh, actual material in the ground to conduct uh, to the ground to make that good ground connection. So what I'll do is I'll just keep putting uh, more copper wire in the ground. I might even get to the point where I have to drill holes and I've had to do that before where I can't just push it down anymore because the, 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 the soil doesn't have the moisture like it has in the spring when you get into July and August and you've got to take a, a huge, I've got a huge auger drill bit and I've got to dig way into the ground and I just start filling that with copper wire until I know I have an adequate good ground. And that is how important this all is as far as getting, getting a good ground is going to make everything work for you. It takes a good ground and you might you might end up figuring out that you need you know eight you, you need multiple um, metal stakes in the ground to make it work or whatever you have around this is hugely important I just can't tell you uh, you can have the absolute best fencer in the in the, in the world and if you don't have it grounded then you've got nothing. Your fence is not going to work. It, it's not going to, when the animal comes up to here, it's not going to do a single thing to them. Um, and so that's why it's also so important to make sure that you walk along here every so often along uh, your fence and make sure that, that, you know, there's not grass touching up against it, grounding out. Because those are also some things that will uh, take down your battery power really really quickly um, and and uh, because every time that it snaps at another location because it's getting grounded by grass or it's getting grounded by weeds or a branch is touching it that you didn't see earlier or whatever um, it every time that there, there's the voltage is leaking out of that area drawing 
on your battery every single time it snaps and uh, and it's just gonna it's just gonna drain your battery okay so just some some really key things uh, that we're, we're, I'm, I'm really trying to do a whole picture here of how to rotational graze how to make it work well you don't need a super tall fence this is more than enough fence when you have a charger when you have a fencer that works so well and you have a grounding system ultimately the grounding system is the most important uh, that is adequate and and that uh, makes makes that connection really really well and have yourself a really good little tester so you can verify yeah that in fact I am getting uh, the a good reading all across the fence and I'm not grounding it out somewhere else um, but but that your ground rod is is getting a really good connection there